mature for an aviation-oriented company. Mm -hmm. And the boss flew all over the country. Of course, he was a great one to encourage people to take up for it, especially in business. As the white coming came. Uh -huh. And he gave me my first airplane ride, and I fell in love with flying. So, how old were you then? Well, I was trying to get it Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, he opened a plant in Tilton. The original plant was in Tilton. He started branching out. The first one he opened was in Tilton. Then he transferred my husband and I up to it. And he said, operation. And I could see where an aeroplane would facilitate getting around. We eventually had eight companies up in the northern part of the state. And I was in charge of all of them, the offices. And I started taking lessons from Elmer Gallagher, taught servicemen to fly at that college during World War II. Hmm. She invited me to go to a meeting with her one time, the 99 meeting. And when I had the stories the girls had to tell, I was all of them. So, so, so the tree work and having culture of love for flying, I, uh, decided to take lessons. And from lessons, I bought planes with my husband's baggage. He couldn't get a license because he's a diabetic, which disappointed him terribly because he didn't check that factor out before he ordered the plane. So I was assigned the job of being the pilot was the same put more pressure on me to get advanced readings. Mm -hmm. Went on to get my uh, multi-engined instrument. Which worked for an aviation-oriented company. Uh -huh. And the boss flew all over the country. And of course, he was a great one to encourage people to take up for it. Especially in business, as the white coming king. Uh -huh. And he gave me my first airplane ride, and I fell in love with flying. So. How old were you then? Well, I was 28 at the Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, uh, he opened a plant in Tilton. Original plans and he started branching out in first when he opened the children. Then he transferred my husband and I up to it and he said operation. And I could see where an aeroplane would facilitate getting around. We eventually had eight companies up on the northern part of the state. And I was in charge of all of the offices. And <clears throat> I started taking lessons from Elmer Gallagher, taught servicemen to fly at that college during World War II. Hmm. She invited me to go to a meeting with her one time, the 99 meeting. And when I had the stories the girls had to tell, I was all of them. So, so the tree work and having culture of love for flying, I uh, decided to take lessons. And from lessons, I bought planes with my husband's baggage. He couldn't get a license because he's a diabetic, which disappointed him terribly because he didn't check that factor out before he ordered the plane. So I was 
the sign we would tell of being the pilot was the same me. That put more pressure on me to get answering this. I went on to get my uh, multi-engined instrument IFR rating and also uh, water because I thought he wanted to fly to some of these remote camps where he had to go fishing. Just a plane going to the various countries I went to Conway and Wind Mountain, Bureau, Berlin, Lebanon. Mr. Whitcomb was so aviation minded that when he was going to open a new plant somewhere, that the first thing he built was an airstream. We had a good turnout. I can't think of the name they called it. It was the International Air Race. Go well, from Canada to some place in the US. And I think you flew to Mexico, didn't you? You flew to Mexico. Yeah, I flew to Mexico one time. Say again. Me you flew to Mexico? Yes. I flew uh, to Acapulco one time for a vacation. And an American submarine docked in Acapulco just to tell the Mexicans some of our military, right? And uh, we met some of the crew downtown in a restaurant. And, they heard I was a pilot and I had an airplane and they begged me for a ride. So I flew some of the crew around the sites of me. <laughs> they seemed to enjoy it. Was that 99 JB? Again? Was that 99 JB then? Your arrow? Yeah. Yeah. They were. The first one was 9394G. It just took to one of the number that was assigned. But when I ordered the second plane, Don Wong tipped me off to order just where I want. The color, the number. That's when it could be, uh, what was it, 199. Right? Wasn't that the number? Your arrow? I think it's a yes. picture. So finally I landed. And after I landed, the man came on. Where he was. I told him that I tried to get him from in Nancy. He said, I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's not unusual. <laughs> the 99s when I joined it. She was one of the first members around me. Mm. One of the first women pilots around here. Mm. She's really from Massachusetts out on the Cape. But uh, they moved up to Mount Washington, wasn't it? Whitefield. She lived somewhere before she moved to Whitefield. That Twin Mountain. That was the O'Brien. But they were AF. Then she moved to New Hampshire. And then eventually she went to Whitefield. And then we have brought the A. Oh. Charlotte Pilot. She was there basically. She got a job flying for Tim Wheeler. Ran straight. She gave her a personal schedule. Yes. Yeah, so. Flight like executives and all. <coughs> she just flown to Canada. 
just on our way back. <laughs> so I uh, thought she was taking off. She's climbing up out of the sentence. Don Vaughn, who saw Rose for bringing the sleep radiation. Sarah realizes that she dropped her glasses when we reached out to pick them up. Mm -hmm. Do it without thinking. Mm -hmm. She went into the ground. She had a stool. Yeah, it's very sad. But she, I would have flown to the end of the world with her. I'm mm -hmm. such a good It's a sense of and I, I believe that you you started uh, getting some uh, donations for uh, a, f a scholarship fund in her name. Uh, the Shirley Mann Scholarship. Weren't you instrumental in getting that started? Oh, yes. When she passed away, we came for a generous donation, thinking that her three teenage kids would need the money. Those three children, all the money back into a fund for a scholarship. Wow. Mm. And that's why I support it. That's what it is. It was so moving. Mm. So I want to do something to perpetuate in those people. Mm. When you when you uh, did the book, you said that, that one of the ideas was for the scholarship uh, to benefit from the funds from the book? Well, I wrote a column for the very stupid and for 18 years. I didn't know what people the I was much respected in the head for sure. So I wanted to save some of my clever So the idea was nobody seemed to be paying much attention to history of the Asian branch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting a little stuck. That would be a way of maybe leading a can somebody's mind. So, so. It's quite an accomplishment. Here's your book. Why don't you just hold it for a minute and you can show it. Yeah. Yeah. That way is picked up on the chair. Yeah. What was that? Who was that? Who was that again? Sheila Scott. Sheila Scott. Famous British TV actress. She's flown around the world several times. Flew something from NASA up over the North Pole. Interesting that that's true. Oh, Sheila Scott flew into uh, the 71 convention in the James. Oh, boy. At the Balsam. At the Balsams. Sheila Scott was on a trip around the world and it was convenient for her to just stop and wipe to rest. She saw after Max Conrad landed there. He'd heard about the convention. Mm -hmm. Of course, he had a lot of friends. And he and Sheila stayed at um, Joe and Don O'Brien's home at the airport because they, 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 
lands through ten. It just dropped in. Man with a beard with some fire in it, like Got his picture in my room. That's Max Congress. He was waiting at the wild gate, you know. And I went up to break to see God. Chamberlain was also here, hoping he would get a head start on the river. I took off when it was still fresh to run. So I one of the impression to follow with them. Chamberlain took off the next day and he said, I'll show him. He flew right over England. Went on to Germany. People never paid much attention to that. He flew the birders. What was that? Who was that? Who was that again? Sheila Scott. Sheila Scott. Famous British TV trips. Mm -hmm. She's flown around the world several times. Flew something from NASA up over the most polar. Mm -hmm. And trust on that, that's from her. Oh, Sheila Scott flew into uh, the 71 convention in the James. Oh, boy. At the Balsam. At the Balsams. She was got was on a trip around the world. I mean, it was convenient for her to just stop and wipe him and rest. She saw after Max Conrad landed there. He'd heard of her to come over to. Of course, he had a lot of friends. He and Sheila stayed at um, Joe and Don O'Brien's home at the airport because they, they, they planned to attend. He just dropped in. And, uh, man with a beard with some fly in it like that. Got his picture in my room. That's Max Congress. He was waiting at the wild gate, you know, I went up to break to, 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 to see God. Chamberlain was also here, hoping he would get a head start on the river. Took off when it was still fresh to run. So, uh, one of the impression to follow with them. Chamberlain took off the next day and he said, I'll show him. He flew right over England. Went on to Germany. People never paid much attention to that. He flew the birders. What was that? Who was, was that? that? Who was that again? Sheila Scott. Sheila Scott. Famous British TV troops. Mm -hmm. She's flown around the world several times. Flew something from NASA up over the most polar. Mm -hmm. And trust on that, that's from her. Oh, Sheila Scott flew into a uh, 71 convention in the games. Oh, boy. At the Balsams. At the Balsams. She was on a trip around the world. I mean, it was convenient for her to 
just stop and wipe him and rest. She saw after Max Conrad landed there. He'd heard about the Kuruba too. Mm -hmm. Plus he had a lot of friends. He and Sheila stayed at um, Joe and Don O'Brien's home at the airport because they, they, they had plans to attend. He just dropped in. Man with a beard with Simba flying at London. Got his picture in my room. That's Max Conrad. He was waiting at the Wild Nathan said, well, it's great to see you go. Chamberlain was also here, hoping he could get a head start on the number. But took off when it was still frustrating. So, I one of the encouragement to follow him. Mm -hmm. Chamberlain took off the next day and he said, I'll show him. He flew. Went over England. Went on to Germany. People never paid much attention to that. People heard us. I think that was tough in the Russia. In the war. I the first Takes everybody to be on the planet. What in the book was the most special part for you? The most special. This this most special part of your book in writing it. Like the most, or I know you have already named the pilot, but it's the most important. It's the most important. Well, that's... Mm -hmm. Well, I certainly learned a lot in reading the book, the first book, and working with you on the second page. Okay. Um, you were the New England section governor on the 99s, right? The, uh, were, were you, I think you were the governor of the New England section of the 99s. Governor of the New England section. The, the, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And also the nominating committee for international. So who who are some of the people that you remember from the 99s? Mm -hmm. Some of some of the people that that you well besides Shirley Mann, uh, Evelyn Crop. Oh. I think did you do an air race with Evelyn? Uh, did you do an air race with Evelyn? Oh, yes, we used to fly. Hmm. I only she was a pilot, but time she had surgery. 
he gave to us so we have to have a search for two long end. It's final set to throw his mom club bottle. Hmm. She did. And and who was that? I don't know if she was something to some someplace in Florida because I remember going. She insisted we fly low. <laughs> I went to the wells to she said, you get to stay low. And you know the open for no be swamp is full of big birds. <clears throat> yeah. They kept flying up at us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's one of these real serious races. Hmm. They don't take it that serious. Hmm. I enjoyed it. Hmm. It was the first scholarship. She won the... Was that the first scholarship? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 1983. So Save I didn't know. Save up. Save up and Bray again. Yeah, Robin Bray. Um, I, was, I was very lucky. I asked her to be our speaker last year. But she she's training in a new jet. She's she's a corporate pilot now. Oh, she's marvelous. And in in our chapter. Northern so died. Pardon? Northern chapter. The northern chapter. Yeah. 